Greetings, sir and sirette, and welcome back to Nimbatus with me, Lathrix, and of course, welcome to a random planet, which got me thinking. Right now, we already have a drone which we drop, and it goes all the way to the center of the world, and honestly, if it was shielded, it could even kill the mother hive. How about if we also had drones which we could deploy, which would automatically do what we're doing right now? which is essentially just skim the land, find transmitters, find hives, and kill them. I think that's a really good goal. Having a fully automated quest clearer, essentially, allowing us to farm all of this stuff really, really easily, and get loads of glorious weapons. So, we just did that, which now will allow me to see some new worlds. Hopefully one of them will have a hive. A new sumo arena, let's have a look at this one. This one has a hive. It has high gravity, however, so it will be a little bit more difficult, but if it works here, it will work anywhere, at least. That's the theory. So then, let's go ahead and just grab the bot we were just in. Hello there. And let's see what we can do. So with this one, it won't take all that much effort. All we need to do is slap a shield on it, maybe a spinning weapon, and it's good to go. The ones going on the side, however, are definitely going to be significantly more difficult to build with. Let's put one here. It'd be cool if we had two, then I could meet in the middle and kind of crush each other. I think that would be the best way to do things. So, we still want this, the logic splitter. We still sort of want this as well, the directional sensor. So, I suppose the best way of doing this... Hmm, actually, how would the best way to do this be? I suppose still having it facing downwards like that... So it's still trying to keep itself level with what is below. That should be okay. Just throw away all of these for a second. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so directional sensor there. Then we're going to need to make it able to go over all sorts of terrain. So we're going to want at least two sensors. One down and one forwards. Like so. This way, if there's anything underneath it, it will keep a certain distance away from the terrain, and then if there's a hill coming up or something, it will try to get over it. At least, that's the idea I'm going with here. So let's leave that as it is for now. So then, let's add some of these. Now thankfully, the drones won't be eating up power from this bot, which is, gr sorry, won't need power on themselves and simply drain it from the main bot, meaning we can just kind of leave these to their own intentions. Would that be the best positioning? Since it's going to be fairly flat anyway, I think it's okay if we have this like this, this like this, this like that, okay. Then all we really need is the defense. And then the weaponry. So, with the weapons... I have been told by a few people that I didn't quite give the manual spinners enough time. Apparently they can be a lot better than I was showing, which I wouldn't be surprised by, honestly. So... What if, sadly both of those are towers, aren't they? We use, where are you, oh manual spinner of doom? The motorized spinner. Put that above, maybe? It doesn't really matter too much. Ahead, I feel like we might end up crashing into something. So one second. This, let's put more into the center, like so. Then this motorized hinge can go there with weapons, and then let's go with our flamethrower, because that's the best for this, really. We can have four of those on this. So it's just going to go all the way around the world, trying to burn things horribly. I really wish we had an a epic version of this. If we had an epic version, that would be so much better. Is there anything else we could use instead of this? That's the question. We've tried so many of the other things with minimal success. I will say, multiple of those would probably work out pretty well, to be completely honest. I mean, that does seem to be doing what it's meant to do, and if it actually had gravity, maybe we could have proven that. But still, all we need to do is make sure that 
it's not active until we let it go. Although, to be honest, if we're using this craft, I just want to let everything go straight away, so maybe that's not too much of a big issue. Well, let's see how they do. Okay, a little bit too much upwards thrust there. Just shield myself up. Well, I mean, it's ugly as sin, but it's definitely doing the job. It is killing all of these very slowly. It's never going to destroy the, the hives, though, on the surface, mostly because it's hardly even reaching. Also, I am running out of power. There we go. Okay, for a first test, that could have gone a lot worse. So, needs to be closer to the ground, definitely needs more weaponry. Other than that, it works. Okay, and release. Well, doing a lot more damage to the shrine this time. Oh, okay, first hive has been killed by that drone, but let's follow this one, because this one will encounter those annoying explodey bugs. Whatever they're supposed to be called. Perfect. I'll just, uh, I'll just collect some of that while you do that, that's fine. I wonder how the, the little digging drone is doing. I can't imagine particularly well. Oh dear. Yeah, because those shots are getting through the shield, because they're EMP shots by the looks of things. Still killed the hive, took minimal damage, but it's still damage, and that will still add up. The other one's shield is definitely still up, because we are currently still at the same level of power. That's actually one way to tell if they're alive. Okay, you killed most of the bugs. Ah, oh, darn it. So close. So close. But no. Seems like on a planet without those bugs, probably would have made it. Well, the other one found the transmitter, so can the little guy kill the mother It's not going to happen, is it? The shield is still up, though. Currently going to try and find it. Hello, enemies. Goodbye. Don't really want to kill the hive. I want to leave that as a threat for the other drone. At the same time, wonder where that drone's got to. That's going to be difficult for it to navigate. God, this is a big world. Go away! I don't want to accidentally kill your hive! Ugh. Same goes for you. Oh, I found him! Hello! Just happily wheeling around. So against the normal enemies, yeah, this actually works. This ugly little thing. Though I did just lose my ability to turn now. That's good. But against the explodey ones, less so. Okay. I'm happy enough, honestly, with that, but... Yeah, it's close to being an auto-mission completer. Just needs a few refinements, let's say. How about four spinning wheels of death? I've also made the craft a little bit smaller by removing a lot of redundant gates. I don't know what I was doing when I made that. Oh, that's perfect. The exploders are dying way quicker. The problem is... Never mind, no problem. That was the problem. Will the hive die fast enough? So there we go, a little world clearer. The only thing I think it's going to get stuck on is chasms. I feel like if it falls down one, it won't react fast enough to get back up, like this as well. So what I think I need to do is either add a sensor lower down, which I think I will do, or have one rotated, or both, honestly. As much as I was against rotated ones with the worm build, it's fine here. I mean, look, everything's floating anyway. It's pretty slow, though. I'll say that much. It's doing its job. Slowly. 
So far, all three creations are also still working. Okay, so I'll, I will happily assume that that will eventually clear the planet. I'll make it a little bit more effective by adding some better sensors. But now, we need to work on the digger so that the digger can kill the mother hive. Again, it shouldn't be too difficult. Shields against the little things the hive spawns. Then just more damage, so just adding, a, honestly, just a couple more of these short beam lasers. My stammer has really been back in the last few videos. Anyway, like magic and editing. Well, we're at the point where we can already complete almost all of the objectives. Only one thing really remains, being able to kill the mother hive. But on top of this, we're also running out of power incredibly quickly, which isn't really a surprise considering we have one, two, three additional shields, and then four sets of four flamers. Actually, in addition to one extra flamer here as well, which will probably be added to very soon. So what we're going to do is a bit of a cheesy tactic in my opinion, but something which everyone has recommended, and this is simply building an energy satellite, because you can just send this drone off up in, into the sky, into space, and have it hold loads of solar panels, and maybe a few shields, and it'll just float there for the entire match. Which I think is very fitting, considering clearly this is a multi-drone setup anyway, and what we can do is just set it up to the same key. There we are. So then, what we're going to do is just have this activate at the very start of the match. In fact, I'm tempted to just have this activate itself at the start of the match, so as soon as the world loads in, this will instantly detach by itself. I don't have to do anything, and actually, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Where are you? The knock gate activates by itself. It's the easiest one to use. Uh, your left control. You know what? Sure. Let's do that. So now what should happen is, yep, all of those simply disconnect straight away. And as you can see, really out of power. That shield isn't even activating and all the rest are rapidly dying. I'm also going to want a... Let's move these off, actually. I'm also going to want a logic splitter so that the satellite craft isn't connected to the rest. So, I'll just quickly throw this together and we'll see how it works. It should be really quite simple, we're just making something which goes up. And I guess we may as well have a directional sensor so it doesn't tip over as easily. I mean, it makes sense, right? Well, the prototype is basically ready to go, so if this works, I will be really, really happy. We can refine this design down the line, like with most of the craft I've been building, but I'm relatively certain this is going to work. The only thing I'm not certain about is this tiny drone's ability to kill the mother hive. I really hope it can, because I like the idea of just such a small drone being... A sort of assassin thing, just going straight down, killing the main body of the world, and with these two cleaning up everything else. The satellite is what you'd expect. Energy, thrusters, shields, it's all good. If it works on this planet, it should work on most other planets as well. This is definitely one of the more weird ones. Although there are higher gravity planets than this, so I guess we'll find out. There we go, everything has been released. The satellite is just happily going into the air. It should get stuck on the ship itself. Well, I can't follow you, which is a bit annoying, so... That should be the only time I shoot. I'm going to follow this guy. It does have three of the flamers now, so it does put out quite a bit of damage, and it has the shields to fight off the defences of the Mother Hive as we gently bounce off everything on the way down. There we go. Let's stay a little bit higher so we don't get aggro from the little guys. It should be only him. Come on, I believe in you. I, don't, I just heard one of the hives up top die. There we go. Okay, that did indeed kill the core. So now all that's left is to see if one of the two drones we sent off will kill the transmitter. Come on, what am I hitting? Oh, that corner, okay. Oh, I just heard something else go. Really slowly leaving. Ooh, resources. I may grab you. 
Let's see if we can catch up with one of the drones. They are very slow, so I should really be able to. Really, I managed to flip myself in this drone. Don't worry, it will self-right. Come on. I can hear the thrusters going. There we go. Need stronger self-writing thrusters. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at all of that resource. Oh yeah, I was meant to follow the other drones, wasn't I? Well, maybe in the future. Okay, it did indeed go and kill the transmitter. I still want to see if both have survived, though. Even if they haven't, I'm happy because I did almost nothing and we essentially got the victory. I, I will come back for that resource later. Though it seems like one of these little harvesting things are actually stuck in there anyway. Look at the terrain. You can see where all of the flames have been hitting. It's made it a lot less neat, I will say that much. Bye-bye. Come on, where is it? Oh, I see fire. How is it going so quickly? It has like one little thruster moving it forwards. We have two big thrusters and are much bigger. Okay, I think I see the problem here. Hello. One more hive down. So, yep, you're doing just fine. Just bouncing along, burning the world. Oh, I think I see the other one. Are they going to reach the center? They are both, yep, they have both met in the middle, which means if we left these, they would eventually completely destroy the planet. Actually, they probably wouldn't because of this right now. If we only had one of them, they would just keep on going round and round and round and round until the entire planet is burnt away. Right now, they're just going to sink into the core slowly. Oh, I am so happy this works. Let's prove it again by going to another new planet. Ooh, that looks different. Air resistance, bonus accuracy, and less energy usage. It's a tower, so it will rotate. Huh. Probably not going to get much use, but still very cool. Really need to um, start selling stuff soon. Let's jump over to you. Destroy hives, destroy transmitter. Okay, let's go ahead and do that then. Hello, world. Meet my friends. Why are you glitching out so much this time? You wasn't that bad before. I know this one has different connections to the other one, to its twin, because I was testing out different connection points with both of them, and I thought, well, if we're going to mirror it anyway, that would be the perfect way to do it, but... Eh, just seems a bit odd. I can't foresee any major trouble with this world in comparison to the other world, honestly. Ooh, yeah, let's see if it deals with this. There's still a lot of improvements we can make, but for a very ramshackle and honestly very quick build, I am really pleased with myself. I'm a simple person. I see automatic mission completers and I'm very, very happy. What should I call it for the title? Automatic mission completer, as I just said? Auto completey? I don't know what to call it. I'm sure I thought of something rather dull for the title as I normally do. Also, I bet this is absolutely killing the video. Every time there's so many particle effects, the bitrate just cannot handle it. It's mostly because... Excellent. Because YouTube itself has a very weird system when it comes to converting bitrates, and yeah, it's... It generally blurs when there's loads of stuff like this going on. I remember back in the day when everyone used to play Slender, when the effects ha happened, when um, Slender himself appeared, that used to kill people's videos because of the static. Especially if I had face cam in the corner or something. Even some of the bigger YouTubers really struggled with it. And that's a complete side note, but either way, missions are complete once again. I've did very little of them be shot. Ha <laughs> ha! Shotguns! Lovely. And what do I get for my efforts? Not 
really something I care about. Well, I do like the bonus attack speed. Must be said, I do like the rapid fire sniper element there, but yeah, once again, something I probably won't use, but still very cool nonetheless. That is huge. You don't have a mother hive? I am actually surprised by this. Anyway, with that, I'm afraid I am all out of time for today's video. If you have enjoyed, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Nimbatus is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Now I'm going to go off and get some sleep, so hopefully I can talk more normal-like in the future. Thank you, and goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.